Hello everybody, welcome back to the stream. Uh, earlier today I did try to stream this game and uh, was running into some technical difficulties. However, prior to this game I did also try and stream some Project Cars. Now that didn't work so well because it kept dropping frames. I don't know if it's my computer or if it's just the fact that something's wrong with my OBS. I don't know. So, I'm going to try and figure out how to get that to work. Now, this game did have a little bit of issues. I did have to change a few settings, and it's running fine. It's running smooth. So, where we left off, I have the last area of Shinkanju to finish. Then we got the two bosses, and then we're on to the next area. So, I did a little bit of more digging on Crossroad Queen and I read the guide wrong. What I thought I had to do for the license plate was, oops, yeah. What I thought I had to do was change this symbol and none of these symbols are correct. So what it was actually telling me to change was this symbol. So if you look at it as this one here is R1, C1, row 1, column 1. On the guide it says that I need for the symbol row 6, column 3. So if I scroll down here to row 6, column 3, this is the symbol. I did a little bit more testing on the game itself on a personal file and it works. So, this whole time, this is why she has not shown up yet. So I am changing the license plate to this. Oh, actually, I'll just go back to, and I'll make it... Well, not that really matters, because I'm replacing this car anyway. So, I'm going to do the last section of Shinkanju. And then, when I feel the cars overheat and I go into the pit for the first time, by that point, I'm going to have 300 kilometers on a trip meter. I'm going to go into the pit, I'm going to change to go the other direction, and I'm going to race her. I'm going to come back, I'm going to buy her car, I'm going to sell both this and the Maxima, I'm going to tune the Evo, and then we're off to the races again. And I don't think I plan to change cars anytime in the future, unless it comes down to the remaining wanders where I need to buy a whole bunch of cars and whatnot to get them to appear. So with that, we're going back diving right in, and I am doing the other way of Shinkanju. CWL, I believe it is. The other way is CCL and this way is CWL. I believe. I don't remember off my heart. So we got our first guy here. Ooh, a little bit of frame lag. Thought I fixed that. Maybe it's because I have this open. There we go. That fixed it. Yeah, that fixed it a little bit. Ooh, this guy is being a little bit of rough. Might want to get away from him now. Or I might want to get away from it. My English today isn't very good. And we just started the stream. That's what sucks. So. I'm just going to run away with this. He's in a uh, AE86. I've got almost 260 horsepower in this thing. Well, PS as this game calls it. I'm just going to run away with this. He ain't catching up. Good luck in the next game, whenever that decides to be released. Hey, he's actually catching up, but, uh, nope. He ran out of time.
Alright. I was looking at chat. See if anybody was talking. Periodic check, and I smash into a van. Fantastic. What do we have here? Oh, another A86. Well, this is gonna be easy. This is gonna be really easy. But let's see, will he put up more of a fight than his friend, or less of a fight than his friend? Well, we're pretty even off the line. Oh, he's going dirt mode on this one, too. So they do it with both directions. That's great. Normally they don't do it on that one, but I remember anyway. He's keeping up. He's definitely putting up more of a fight than his friend. Get a squeeze by. Ooh, I almost had that. I saw the gap and I went for it. And that ultimately costed me big time. Now hopefully, I have enough steam to keep up. I should, I shouldn't have any issue here. I'm gaining on him rapidly. He move over. Oh, thank god. That could have gone off so much worse. The brakes. Don't want to smash the wall. As I slip and slide around. Oh, this was a hell of a lot closer of a fight. That's another win. Let's see who's next. Oh, that was the rolling guy leader that we just passed. Let's see, who do we have here? Tokyo Jungle. Interesting name choice for a team. Surprised they just didn't go with Concrete Jungle. Oh, it made a little bit more sense. not good. Got a bit of a bounce coming out of that. Was not expecting that. Oh, he just got destroyed. Jesus. I think he did worse than the first AE86 we faced. He just got mullered. I didn't stand a hope in hell. Understeer. Let's see, is this going to be another Tokyo jungle up ahead? 
Or is it going to be another R gang member? Ah, another R gang member. So, hopefully this guy doesn't put up as much of a fight as his last guy. Or as the last guy we had. Shouldn't, though. They're very enthusiastic, because I did read the uh, team bio on uh, the English version. Even though they have very underpowered cars, they still have a lot of spirit. Try and root for the fastest, but, uh, yeah, they don't stand much of a chance. You got determination, I'll give him that. That determination is just not enough. Let me just check my stuff to see if everything's still running smooth. Everything is still looking good. that. Only a hundred more kilometers to go. Who do we have here? Oh, I was expecting another uh, Tokyo Jungle, but uh, our gang works as well. Let's see. Uh, the second guy we faced had a hell of a lot of determination. Let's see, can they repeat the pattern? Every second guy's got more speed than the last. Or is he just going to run out of steam? Ooh, almost at that end. That was kind of close again. Oh, it looks like they're repeating the pattern. Catching me. Yep, he's definitely making up that determination. But he's a little bit too late. Let's see, is this guy going to be another R Gangs or Tokyo Jungle? I'm hoping for a Tokyo Jungle, actually. There's very raised four from R Gangs, I can't remember how many uh, people are in their crew. Oh, good. Or Tokyo Jungle.
I'd say he'd keep up, but uh, he is driving a station wagon. So I don't think he stands much of a chance. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of a cough. At least I'm not coughing as much as the last time. So that's a bonus. Bouncing again. I really gotta stop cutting that corner. It's gonna eventually make me spin out or at least hit the central divider. So, we're past uh, 300 on the trip meter. The pit lane up here I am going to take. And we are going to do the other direction. Now, Crossroad Queen should appear first thing I enter. Because they usually prior they always prioritize blue opponents first. That is, if there is a blue opponent. So, let's see if she's here. Hopefully, because there's no date requirement. Yep. There's Crossroad Queen. Or is it going to be glamorous? Nope, Crossroad. This is going to be a fight. <laughs> Time to take that Evo. Hopefully she doesn't give me too much of a hassle. Well, saying that, she just slams on the brakes. Either she's stupid, or she's just really, really overconfident. I'm going with the first option on that. I'd use my turbo, but I don't think I really need to just yet. However, here you can hear her screaming in. She's gonna. You bitch. Yeah, you stay behind that bus. Karma. She just smacked me into the divider. Well, there you go. Karma's a bitch. Boom. There's an Evo. Let's return to the garage. It's lighter. I think it's lighter. Or it's about the same weight. It's still all wheel drive and it's got more power. So there's the Evo. Let's see, how much does this car weigh? Oh no, it's a little bit heavier. Just a little bit. But that's okay. We have enough. Cheaper than that uh, Fair Lady Z I was looking at. It's got more torque, it's all wheel drive, and it's got the same power. Plus, it's lighter. So... And it's a cheaper option, so what the hell? Why go for that when I can go for this? So, uh... I'm a big fan of Initial D. So, uh, I'm gonna have to go with white on this one. Now, I don't need to worry about license plate just yet. I'm not focused on anything with that. So, car chain? No, actually, no, I didn't want that. I want to go car sell. I'm gonna sell this, because I don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna get rid of the pulsar. So now we're back up to 8 million, and I'm going to tune the living hell out of this thing. All the money on a level 3 engine. Done. Level 2 muffler. Level 2 cooling. 
Uh, tires we're gonna need, definitely. <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't expect to cough this much. But then again, I haven't been talking much today to begin with. That's probably why. Uh, I will improve the brakes. Eh, that's pretty expensive. How about the clutch? Clutch is cheaper. I'll take the clutch. Uh, do I want to do anything? How much is the weight down? Ooh, that's pricey. I think I'll pass on that for now. I will chain... What can I do to the design? Oh. Well, that looks stupid. Not doing that. Eyeline. Nah. I'll just put some xenons on it and be done with it. Tail lights, I'll leave. Uh, I'm going to change this around, not that it matters. And I think I'm good. I don't think I need anything else. Oh, that's right. Settings. Boost. I'm going to turn the four-wheel drive controller on, and I'm going to put more to the rear. Done. So, that should take care of that. So, let's uh, finish off what we have left. Now, everybody here should get absolutely destroyed. Concerned I've got a fully tuned Evo first stage with as I think I have the best parts you can get so far. So yeah, this AE86 here, yeah. I feel bad for him. I really do. Because uh, he ain't keeping up. Because I'm just going to take off like a bullet. Now, is this a 5-speed or a 6-speed? That might be the next thing I get. It's a transmission so I can uh, just increase those gear ratios a little bit. Just a tad. That seems a bit too short for my liking. I seem to get to top speed extremely quickly. here Tokyo jungle oh there's glamorous now this is how you get the RX-8 as I said what was it the last stream yeah I was using my pulsar so let's just take this RX-8 off of her. I know I have more power than her and I'm turbo and all-wheel drive Now, the last time I did a playthrough, or a, um, yeah, a playthrough of this game, on a personal file, I used the, um, I used the Subaru Impreza. You get it off of a, um, actually, you get it off the leader of the, um, leader of Tokyo Jungle. That's right. You get one off of him, and I think it's a little bit heavier than this. 
I forget if it's got more torque, but it does have the same power. But I do know when I got to um, almost the end of first stage, I was literally destroying everybody I came into contact with. I would just take off and I'd be hitting like 300 kilometers an hour with ease. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> God, I'm trying not to cough so much. This mic is sensitive. So this should be a cakewalk. I'm actually wondering how the bosses are gonna go. Are they gonna still be a pain in the ass? Or are they just gonna be slightly easier? At least this car doesn't have the massive oversteer that the Pulsar had. This thing actually can turn. At least we're making up all the money that we spent on this. So that's a bonus. Now definitely the next thing I'm getting is a transmission. And maybe I will get the weight down even though that's pretty expensive. Sorry, rolling guy. Excuse me. Now, who's this up ahead? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go this way, you can go that way. I'm not gonna race them, just to backtrack. Pointless. Because if I go that way, then I have to drive all the way around again to go to the pit. And by that point, I'm better off just to keep going forward and just continue where I left off. So there's really no point to racing him. I'll just take care of him at a later time. I'm paying attention. Now is this going to be our gangs or another Tokyo jungle? That's our gang. No, oh, Cupid Arrow. Wasn't expecting that just yet. Now that Starlet is not going to be able to keep up. Yeah, definitely not as much understeer as the Pulsar. That was a lot more smooth. Oop. 
shit. Keep looking away at the worst times. Now, this guy has always been strange to me. Every time I look at his uh, bad name, as this game calls it, I always think it says Michael Jackson 6 feet 6. Or Michael Jordan 6 feet 6. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But that's the only thing I can think of. But, uh... Or that they did it wrong, and that's supposed to be six foot six. Is that six feet six? So that would make a little bit more sense. Another keep it. Another starlet will bite the dust. I don't think the tires are losing grip. Sure doesn't feel like it, at least I haven't noticed yet. I don't think they'd be losing grip already. Kinda weird, what's my wind count? Yeah, six? Maybe slightly, but not very much. Probably won't notice until I get to around, I don't know, 12 to 15. It's usually when I start to notice that the lack of grip really strong. But with this car, I don't think it's going to be too noticeable. If anything, it might become very oversteery. Considering how much uh, I'm doing that through the corners already. Which is not something you expect from an all-wheel drive car. And again, this is a rally car. It's made for rally, so... That's probably a common thing, then. Who do we have here? I swear to God, if he changes to go to C1. Oh my God, why do they do that? Well, okay, that's a great way to start it off as well. Uh, now let me just kick his ass and turn around and go back. That was easy. No team leader just yet either. Use me bus. Oh, 
There's a guy going the other. Oh, that's probably the other guy I got earlier. Oop. Again, not looking. Smacks into a van. Let's see, how many more am I gonna hit? Is that gonna be the only one, or am I gonna hit another? Yep. God damn it. That's two. Why are you changing lanes right then and there? You're a moron. Ooh. And again, I can't really say that he's a moron, because I am going the wrong way on the highway. And that's number three. Fantastic. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I didn't pass. God dang it. Well, that was a stupid. I thought that was the exit. That's the only guy left, so I'm just going to go into the pit line. I think it would be a lot easier. Now is this going to be a Cupid Arrow? Nope, oh, it's Tokyo Jungle. Oh wait, no I couldn't have. I was just thinking, hey, I was in the pit, I should have changed the um, transmission settings, but I can't until I buy the first transmission. Oh well. As long as it doesn't cost me trying to um, battle the two bosses, then I'm content. Oh, he's not keeping up. That's another one. <coughs> Excuse me. I was bothering me. Oh look, it's Io. I don't know how you pronounce it. Literally, his name is I-O. It's I-O. Well, normally he puts up a hell of a fight, but uh, then again, I am using this, so I can understand why. Or I can understand why he's not right now. However, this, he might. He probably has a higher top speed than I do. Because I seem to run out of steam once I get around 250. I say that as I hit almost 270 kilometers an hour. Yep, there's 270. And he just got destroyed. Oh, good lord. This is gonna be fun. Hi, Bloodhound. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he's going the other direction. 
him and Dejected go the other direction, so... Hopefully, well... When is the next pit lane? After the bridge. If I turn around, I can go back. Because I do know if I race him and I beat him, Dejected Angel comes out right afterwards. And I don't want that. I do want to do more of the racers here before I move on. Yep, I'm a pull a Yui. I'm going to go back. Rather than slowly creeping Pat or behind him there all the way across the bridge. Now, I shouldn't have to worry about hitting any of the vans concerning how wide the Long Gone Highway is. So that's a good thing. I'm just gonna stay over here. Oh, but I'll hit that when I touch the uh, joystick to move over and it doesn't do much. <laughs> okay then. Oh, that's right. Did I not? Oh, no. It is. It carries on between cars. Okay. And we'll continue on. Because if I um, get a large enough win combo and then fight him, and I win, I get a massive payout. And same with uh, if I beat Dejected Angel after that, I get a huge payout. Like, really large. Especially if it's double the earnings. Plus then I think I get, what is it, like, 10? It's 10 million yen at the end. Like, if I. After this city is complete for this stage, I get a 10 million bonus. Now, in terms of the Evo, because uh, the test that I did, I managed, or the English, you can get it on day one. If you set up the license plate correctly and you go to that particular area of Shinkenju, and you get to 300 on your trip meter, you can race her. So you can literally get an Evo day one. Only problem is you won't have the money to buy it yet. Depending on how much money you spent at the beginning. As well as depending how much power your car has, because if you're driving an A86, which has 130 PS, you might not be able to beat her with ease. It would be very difficult. Because on the uh, personal file that I t did the test on, I, um, I used the Toyota Chaser, which is the fastest car I think you can buy. Fastest as well as lightest. Well, it is the fastest car, but it's like 1400 kilos. So I used that and I could barely keep up with her. So, if you're using an A86, that's stock. Eh, uh, good luck. 
unless you she manages to screw up and you get ahead of her and you manage to block her the whole way, that's pretty much all you're gonna have. <coughs> ah, the stupid cough. This will not go away. Oh shit. So he opted to go for the AE-111. I don't know why he decided to go for that when he could have probably bought something a hell of a lot better if he was going to swap out the 86, but uh... Not only that, I don't understand Toyota's choice on this. Considering the uh, 86 was rear wheel drive. Why would they make it front wheel? It seems kind of stupid. But then again they're going in that kind of economy for fuel efficiency and this and that and the other thing then I guess I can understand so in a way I understand but I'm going you're ruining it by making a front-wheel drive and there's nothing I can do about it <clears throat> excuse me my throat is really bothering me Last time I did this, I had a glass of water with me, and it didn't do very much either. I'll just go into the pit. It'll be faster. I don't think this is the last for Cupid Arrows. I really doubt that. It's probably going to be another case of um, beat them and go into the pit lane. Or beat one and then go in the pits to get the rest to come out. I'm pretty sure the tires are shot by now and I just haven't noticed. I don't think the high grip tires can go with grip for 630 kilometers. But uh, I still have a hell of a lot of grip. Yep, that's up. So I'm going, there's no way. No way that I'm gonna get the team leader already. I didn't race that many of them yet. Oh, there's one down there. But I, th hmm. I don't know if that'll be Wild Child. No, wait. Odd child goes the other way, my bad. I don't know who that was. Oh! Uh, shit. I hit the down of my D-pad and it didn't even register. Oh shit. But uh, I do have a solution to this. And where we ca came out there, on the other side, there's a um, way back into the pit. So, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. So I'm just going to do this. That corrects that mistake. There we go. Now it decides to work. Who do we have here? More Cupid.
Now, if I'm not mistaken, to get that uh, Europa special he's using, you have to beat Speedbox in this game. I think it's Speedbox. I think that's what his name is. Speed something, I can't remember. I'm probably getting that right, but uh, who knows. I think, yeah, in TXR0, he had a, um, a rough as his car. But in this game, they gave him a uh, Europa Special from Lotus. I don't get the reasoning on that one. Give him a Porsche, or a modified Porsche, and then you downgrade him to that. that that's very stupid in my opinion. Now the person ahead has got to be a wanderer, most certainly. I don't know who. I have a feeling I know who, but I'm not sure. So let's see if we can uh, beat the leader here before we find run into the wanderer. I don't think that's gonna happen though. We're closing in on him or her pretty quickly. Oh, yep, there's where you notice the tires are going. A little bit more slidey than normal in that case. But it's not by much. It's not by much at all, actually. There's still a hell of a lot of grip. Now I don't know who that blue one is running this way, it's probably... Could that be... Could that be White Tiger actually? That's a possibility. So, that's that area done. So now, all we have left are the Wanderers and the bosses. So, uh, let me just get this guy up here. And then I may go back to see who that one is down at the bottom. And yep, my feeling was right. What? Probably because I have so much on my trip meter. That's probably why I can't raise him. Oh well, this is a fairly new machine, so I think his requirement was to, he had to have a new machine, or fairly new. I don't remember, I'll have to look it up again. I'd keep the list open next to me, but uh, eh, there's no point because I'm not going to get very many wanderers. Normally there's... Uh, I normally don't get very many by the end of the game. Then I'm then it's just constant wander after wander trying to get them all done. So uh, I'm just gonna leave him and whoever the other guy was, probably White Tiger. I'm gonna leave them be, and I'm going to try and deal with Bloodhound. So yep, all of Tokyo. All the teams done, just the bosses and some of the wanderers are left. So, uh, let's deal with this guy. This is going to be fun. At least I can use boost. That's bonus. That's the big thing. At least I can still use boost. Hi. This is going to suck. He's going to take off like a bullet. He has to. Or he can do the same thing Crossroad did. Just hit the brakes there. So, I'm just going to use that to my advantage here. And I'm going to try and take off like a bullet.
So I have hit my almost my top speed. I'm going this way. I'm not taking that on the inside. That's going to be a bad idea. So, so much for him. That's a very large payday, if you ask me. Now we gotta deal with this bullshit. Now this has got to give me a challenge. She has never been easy to beat. Ever. I've not had one situation where it was actually easy to defeat her. Oh, and I love this effect. When you get above, I think it's 100 kilometers, it starts doing this. Because you're apparently going so fast. Yeah, I'm getting close. But I don't think I got... I don't think I can keep up. Even with my boost... Oh, you bitch. Had it right that uh, she had it right. She actually had it right. And then she decides, hey, let's go the other direction now. Well, I lose. So I try again and then I'm gonna have to go back to uh, either the pits or the garage cool my car down. Oh shit. So we got two of them ahead of us. Well, it looks like this may be a little bit easier. But not for very long. Because she's going to be right back on my bumper. Now, I'm hoping, considering that she's got such a powerful car, she'll just hit that center of the butt. Thank you. Back to being easy for a brief moment. That's the last break I'm going to get to. The rest of this, she's not going to make a mistake. Unless there's a van on the outside. Don't hit... Oh, thank God. Have I had the bonus combo I had before? That would have been at least 2.5 to 3 million yen. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. And there's the 10 million bonus. That's Tokyo Stage 1 done. And we get the cutscene again. something I I tell you what it is but I actually don't know I only know very very like snippets of each that one is just telling you it's unlocking like some people are coming back that maybe stop racing before I don't know I have no idea so engine level 4 tranny 2 clutch 2 reinforced 2 and that's it we got S15 Sylvia, the RX8 from Glamorous, the AE 111 from Cupid, or from our gangs, and uh, this was from Cupid Arrows. Io from Tokyo Jungle, and then we got Bloodhound here. And dejected it. Well, in this game, I don't know how you would say that. I don't know, but I'm just going to keep going with the English causer and call her Dejected Angel. That's what I know her as. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to uh, upgrade this even further. Almost 400 horsepower already. I'm definitely putting the tranny in. So I 
going to need that. Upgrade that clutch. Suspension. Brakes. Oh, wait, I want to do body. I will put a roll cage in it. Give it a little bit of more rigidity. But I'm also going to uh, lower the weight. Now, arrow. I did want to do a little bit. Again, decrease the weight. None of these are actually, you know, normal. So I'm going to go with just a normal stock bumper and color it. On it, really not much I can do to it. I don't know what it is. I like that one, so I'm going to do that as well. Well, then again, looking at that, maybe not. That I can see what it actually is. I'm going to go with that. Eh, I'll leave it natural. I like having that uh, carbon fiber head like that. Uh, rear bumper, is there anything sensible? That's... Actually, that looks pretty good. It looks like a rally bumper. I'll keep it. Side skirts. I'm gonna go with that. Spoiler. We can get an even massive more... Or, yeah, an even more massive wing. Shorten it a little bit. That weird one. That un... Like, what the shit? Why? Or we can go for the typical uh, racer wing. Or we can just take it off. Now, I don't know if it actually does add downforce. But I really do like the wing. So, uh, I'm... Ah, what the hell, I'll go with the massive wing. Why not? Give it a little more character. Over fenders, I don't think I need to worry about. But, uh, do it anyway. Should I keep that natural? Nah. It'll look kind of weird. Here's... Don't think there's really any point. Plus, those little ones look kind of stupid. So I'm just going to do that. So, there goes all the bonus. <laughs> we literally spent the whole bonus and half of the money we had before. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, let's spend some more money. Let's change the rims. Now, I don't know what would look good. Maybe those. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go with these. One inch is on the whoop, one inch on the front. Two inch on the back. Supposedly having the double in or the larger rim makes your tire larger so you actually have more grip. I don't know if that's actually true. I doubt it. But uh, now I'm going to quickly change the transmission final gear, and I'm going to extend that. Because that was awfully freaking short. Whoops, wrong button. So short, way too short. Want to go there, and I think that'll be fine. Alignment, I don't think I need to worry about suspension. I am going to lower it a little bit. Just a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Let's move on. Do I do Nagoya or Osaka? <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Nagoya is really, really short, but it's really boring. A very for second stage or sorry first stage it's a very very tiny box Osaka I can say the same thing but it's got connectors in the middle two 
Yeah, two uh, connections in the middle to go to either side. For first stage, anyway. So, uh... I'm just gonna do... Nagoya, I'll just go in order. Why not? So, uh... It's not raining, so I can't get, uh... Uh, whoop. Can't get Snow Dancer to show up yet, because you have to use... It has to be snowing or raining, and you have to change your body color at the same time, or your paint. Him, I don't remember. He shows up after you use the pit lane five times in a row. He shows up, I think, on Tuesdays. But it may only be in... Or is it Thursdays? Tuesdays or Thursdays, he shows up. And he has a chance to only show up in the second half of the game. Him, I actually don't remember. I cannot remember his. But yeah. That's the Wanderers. There's only four off the start. So, uh... Oh, and as well as Hyper Groove, you also have to start at the bottom here. So, I'm just gonna do that for the hell of it, in case, who knows, maybe he shows up on a Wednesday. This is basically telling you about, um... Strongest Teams... Genesis R and Seeks. That's pretty much it. And where the horsepower of the cars can go up to 200 kilometers an hour. That's the English gist of it. Now that Corvette you see down there, that is actually a wanderer in the second stage of the game. That is the Sea West Corvette. Little spoiler. Now, as you can see, it's just a tiny box. Just a very, very tiny box. <laughs> now, this shouldn't be too difficult, considering the car that I'm in. And I have even more power than I did before. Now I may... Launch was definitely slower, I could definitely tell that. Now let's see, how much longer did it increase the top speed by though? I'm still almost buzzy in the limiter at 270. Ooh, graphical glitch. Yeah, that's gonna keep happening. That's gonna keep happening. I apologize for that. I don't know what causes it, but uh, this is the. It normally only happens when I'm recording or streaming. So. I don't know what caused it this time. Because I've done tests and I've had it going and it's done during tests, so... Oh well. Now, oh, let's see if we can destroy this MR2 here. He's gonna get destroyed. Actually, I think he's cat. What the hell? He was going in a straight line. He was in the correct lane, and then he's like, "No, I'm just gonna move over here and behind the van and just smack it." Why? Okay then. Well, he was catching up for a brief moment, but uh, he royally fucked that up. 
because of his own stupidity. Now, I probably can do this entire thing in one run. The only trouble I'm going to run into that I think I'm going to is with uh, the team leaders. Well, the team leaders are the final boss, Genesis R and Seeks. So, both of them, I feel, are going to be the issue. The rest of them here are probably not going to be very difficult at all. So, yeah. I could probably clear this thing in one run. That is, if I don't royally mess it up somehow. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, sorry for the graphical glitches. I can't do much about that. I believe I'd have to restart the entire thing. Now that's another weird thing. If you look at the map, he's actually not at the corner yet, yet he's already turned to the right. And then once I get close, he'll snap back to the way he's supposed to be. I don't know why it does that. It does it anywhere. It does it whether I'm in Tokyo, here, or in Osaka. It doesn't matter. I don't know why it does that. I even noticed that when I was a kid, I noticed it. So I'm like, ah. It's weird. See? He doesn't even get to the corner, the guy ahead of me, and then he just immediately turns 90 degrees. So weird. Yeah, I'm hitting the brake so I don't hit the van just like he did. Cause he's an utter moron. Cause you know, they have brakes, they just don't use them. The only time they use them is what you saw what uh, Bloodhound and Crossword Queen did. They break at stupid points where they don't need to. But when it's actually required that they slow down a little bit so they don't mess up, they just go slamming right into the wall. Or into the van. Or both. So it's like they just don't know when to break. So even though my car's not exactly on the hot side yet, I'm still gonna pit. Just to reset it. that and now I have to do that four more times and I get a wanderer to appear. So who's this? Racing funds. Now, does it? Nope. You would think it would use um, the, bottom, the lights on the bumper as the high beams, unless that those are actually the fog. Ah, scratch that. Those are the fog lights. What am I saying? Yeah, those would be the fog lights. Oh, there's the new graphical glitch. It changes every time. So if you like pretty colors, there you go. Adds a little bit more color to the game. Well, unnecessary color. That is, there's all these neon lights going past me, so... Yeah, definitely unnecessary. Me. 
on. Would you just come back? Oh god. That was finished. Come back to bite me in the butt. Still there. I guess he has catch up turned on. That's why he's keeping up. He's fallen that far behind. Good, no van. I can hit the brakes and wall ride. And he'll just smack into it like a moron. Those corners make these wins very, very easy. Another MR2. Okay. This is not as bad as what happens in second stage. L almost literally every single rival you get is in a skyline. And it's so annoying, it's so repetitive, it's just like another skyline. Is every you might as well give everybody one. I'm surprised they didn't do that. Did he really just hit the van? There's kind of, well, there was a um, chicane in the road, but it wasn't that bad. I don't see why he would still hit the van. Okay. Not that it would really matter, he wasn't going to be able to keep up to begin with. <laughs> Mazda Miata. Haven't had one of these in a little while. Although he's gonna get more wrecked than the MR2 is. Then again, the last time we had an MR or a uh, Miata, it almost destroyed me. If I do remember correctly. But uh, he immediately decided, let's just drive into the van and do nothing. running away with this bitch. Speaking of, that didn't last very long. <laughs> that took no time at all. I don't think I can beat the guy ahead of me before the pit. So I may just drive into the pit. Yeah, I wouldn't beat him before the pit line. Although, don't think I'm gonna get a leader just yet. Well, maybe. Oh well, let's just keep going. I wasn't even paying attention, I don't even know what he was driving. 
Oh well. He's not keeping up, so... I would say I hope he likes staring at my bumper, but uh... He's so far away he can't even see my bumper. We can just keep staring at the vans, I guess. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the game, or beginning of this, uh, not just this live stream, but when I originally started live streaming this. This game has been on my bucket list for a while. I've never managed to beat it. So, I'm more than likely going to stream the whole thing. And then when it comes time to uh, take out the remaining Wanderers, I may just do short videos where it's just me showing the wander and then uh, oops, showing the wander and then racing them and giving the requirements to get them to appear. So that's my plan, but that's for much, much later down the line. So I'm actually really looking forward to doing that. Now, the only thing that I won't cover is... Actually, no, I may just do that. I may even do the wanders that I've already have completed. But race them... Again. Like, uh... Because in the rivals menu, you can challenge them again. The only difference doing that is there's going to be no vans around. I don't believe there is vans that you have to avoid. I think it's just open road and you just go for it. So... <coughs> Excuse me. That'll be the only difference. So... Really am looking forward to doing that. <laughs> but yeah, that's not for a long time. Because this game isn't exactly short. Now, I believe this will get the leader to show up. Because we have raised quite a number of them. Hopefully my car doesn't overheat. That comes down to it. Now, I do notice the difference between this and that uh, Impreza I used. This is more torquey, and the Impreza is more top speed based. Which is why I can see so many people like the Impreza, um, in this game specifically, I'm not talking about real life. But uh, I can see why people go for the Impreza over the Evo most of the time, in terms of looking at what the best cars to use are. So. I'm not going to trade to the Subaru, I'm not going to waste my time with that. I'm just going to stick with this because I still have plenty of power and torque. So yeah, I'm just going to turn around here. I thought I was going to get the leader, but I guess not. And I'm just going to drive back into the pit for the second out of five times to get that wander to appear. Oh, good thing I had the understeer. Help me avoid that van. I didn't even see it coming. So let's see, how many do we Ah, uh, one more. I always do that. I always think the one or the uh, leader's coming out, and I'm always one short. Okay then. So, only a few more left. And then we're going to get a few team leaders showing up. I 
this guy's not going to be any hassle. So I'm again going to take off like another bullet. Team leader. He's using a Toyota Chaser actually. Fast car, but a little on the heavy side. Not even using boost. And I'm passing him super quickly. Now, uh, that wasn't nearly fast enough compared to, uh, well, me passing him, I should say, wasn't fast enough if it was actually the, uh, leaders for Genesis R and Seeks, so my hunch is correct that they're gonna definitely be giving me an issue. Because that was ample time for them to just blast away. Just so much time. Oh, it's a or it's attention, or at attention, or at tension. Where you want to pronounce it, because it uses the A or um, yeah symbol for the A. Oop, a little oversteer there off the wall. Was not expecting that. I guess that's my sign that the tires are shot, but I just haven't really realized it yet. Now this guy, I don't know, out of everybody so far, except for a mortal clown, why on earth would you use a Scion XB to race on a highway? Just, why? Pretty much everything is, no sorry, everything is going to kick your ass. Let me just reverse here. If I can get it. Oop, as the car goes sideways. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Bad time for the cough. Now I don't want to accidentally drive into the pit lane, so uh, yeah, probably start looking at the screen. I wasn't looking at the screen there. Interesting name choice. Although, but then again. I don't know. I'm going, wouldn't it be more based on the fact of when he's driving? A way for that one? Based on the game I'm playing? So I don't think you're going to get very many ladies driving the Scion XP. However, this is Japan. And the culture is definitely different from Canada and the US. So, maybe. I don't know.
Oh, another Scion. I'll see you never. So yeah. He's gonna hit the van, isn't he? But then again, he is going pretty slow, I doubt it. Yeah, he didn't hit the van. Okay, maybe. You can see a little uh, stutter in the uh, in his SP bar there. Unless my eyes are playing tricks on me. However, I am really liking this Evo. Despite it being more torquey than I expected, I am actually really liking this so far. DHK. I just name him DHL. Seriously. If I just name him DHL and paint his car yellow. With a red stripe. Considering he's almost driving a van. Almost. I can't call it a van and I can't call it a car. All I can call it is a compact. Game derping out there in autopilot. Guess I wasn't supposed to be over there. This would be the last one. But uh, knowing my luck, I'm all, again saying it one short of how many there actually are left. So, let's just kick this guy's ass. Just like the rest of them. Or the rest of them before him. As I understeer into the wall. Nowhere near me. Yep, thought so. One or two short again. Whoops. More focused on the arrow. However, I'm gonna go into the pits first. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's definitely a much better idea. Because I believe he'll bring out the leader if I race him and win. 
Right? Yeah. Glad I didn't do that. Because I would have definitely had my car overheat. So, uh... I hope you all enjoyed the live stream. I'm going to end it here. I've been going for about an hour and 40 minutes. So, uh... I may stream again tomorrow or the day after. So, if anybody wants to show up then, you're more than welcome to. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you had fun. I hope you weren't bored. I hope I was entertaining enough, actually. Oh, there's my phone. Bad timing. So, uh, I'll see you all in the next live stream. Have a good day. Bye-bye.